Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and I was just chilling out on some event uh, that was happening and just when I saw this tweet again, I saw this in the daytime as well, I thought I'll make a video on it but uh, here is my two cent around this story in case you are not aware of this story. Uh, this kind of a story pops up every year, every quarter, uh, every some month around that. Uh, let me show you what the story is then you'll get a little bit more context of it. So this is the story. And again, uh, what is happening here, you just need to watch this one closely. Can we zoom this out a little bit more? I think this is enough. So the whole idea behind this is uh, that if I shrink this a little bit, there we go, nice and easy. So whatever Sam is saying, not worried about that part. What I'm worried about is uh, Daniel actually posted this, another serverless horror story, uh, which is doing rounds on every platform. And here are my takes on this one, like what should happen. So first of all, let's get the context what happened. So somebody was in a on a hobby plan or probably some paid plan. Let's just assume that on some paid plan. So uh, they received an email from Netlify saying that we have received over a 100K bill, 104K, like 4K is also a big deal. And obviously, if they would shoot me an email like this, I would also see that, hey, this is uh, kind of a joke, giving you a fact that, yes, I am a Varsal user, I am a Netlify user. During my first startup, which is no longer with me now, uh, given you fact that, yes, I have paid my fair share of bill, but it was all under control. But this could have happened to me as well, that I could have received a 104K bill. And really, that's 190 terabyte bandwidth in four days. To give you the context, uh, we work, uh, right now currently I'm working at an edtech startup where we consume petabytes of bandwidth every month. So I, I know what kind of bill this looks like and what kind of bill we pay at our organization. So this is really, really powerful. The whole idea is somebody uh, did the DDoS attack on that and blah, blah stuff. They were not enough customer. If there would be a customer like this, everybody would be happy. They would be making billions of dollars. Uh, usually they get 200 daily visitors, uh, never exceeded 10 GB, almost like exactly my scenario. So I also never exceeded that uh, $3, $19, and $20. And this is where I experimented switching between uh, some of the accounts and all of that. So, anyways, so the whole point is that their customer first said that, hey, 20% on this. And by the way, before you give any hate to the founder of the Netlify or anybody, yes, they have waived off the entire bill. But my two cents here on this is, why don't we have a hardened pop-up which says enter your amount which you are ready to pay. After this, your site will crash and I'm ready to take that. I think we really need this kind of a thing in Warcell, in Netlify and the whole solution of this problem is really simple but they are not, not just giving it to us. I think they should. That there should be a hard limit that this is my budget. If anybody goes beyond this budget, I am ready to sacrifice my service. I don't want to keep it up and running. These kinds of things do happen. No matter what kind of protection you put it around, I know you will say Cloudflare and whatnot and all these protection. But my two cent is here. Why don't you give me a settings page in which I can just put, I'm ready to pay $100, $1,000. If my budget is big, if I'm a big organization, I'll definitely put $100,000 there. But if I'm not putting it $100,000, why to charge me $100,000? This whole thing of uh, pay uh, what you use and pay us after you use it, that's okay, but it's always a scary for, especially for developers. Please, my humble request, if you see this, tweet this out along this video, give us a hard limit button and an input box. It doesn't it just takes too much of long to design and implement this is, this is my maximum budget of a month. If anything goes beyond that, shut down my services. That's it. I think that's the only way we can stop these kinds of horror stories popping around. And it's been years. And I still wonder why Netlify doesn't give you that, why Warsaw doesn't give you that. Some of the providers, even, even Firebase does that, even all of that. And those who doesn't provide that, they have a hard plans for it. Like you'll be paying monthly X dollars. That's it. But these kinds of stories, I hate them. So here are my two cents in a really short video about a uh, $100,000 nightmare story. I hope you have enjoyed the small short videos, uh, just a nice incident and watch out if you are a hobbyist who is developing uh, applications on Warsaw and Netlify. Yes, these kinds of things do happen. So uh, watch out for them.